MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor leagues. Tonight we wrap up this brief two-game series between the Northwest Arkansas Naturals and their division rivals from the Sooner State, the Tulsa Drillers. And before we close in on first pitch, a look at the starting lineups here for the finale. And then briefly, let's take a look at the two starting pitchers who get the assignment here. Goose Anderson will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. Goose Anderson. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Mm, just overmatched him there. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Boy, he was so far behind that first pitch that he over-adjusted and was so far ahead of this one. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. Hey, come on, guys. Now a fastball, and he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And you know, you're going to see this a lot with a guy who has a great fastball like he does. This one's on the inner half of the plate, and it's so easy for that bat to just sort of drag through the zone. It's hard to catch up with that thing. And you see right here, he's going to make contact right below the label, and this is just going to turn into an easy, soft liner. Edison Rincon will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one on the first. So he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. The batter, number five. Goose Anderson will dig batter, in. He popped out his first time. Goose Anderson. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Naturals lead it five to nothing.
Goose Anderson will dig in for a third time now. He's popped out and grounded out so far. Goose Anderson. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. The 1 0. Into right center, and they'll get a man aboard to start the inning. That's a base hit. One of the first times tonight that they've had their leadoff man on base. Center now they've got to find a way to Jason build on it if they want to get back in this thing. Jason Pridey will step in. A base hit in his last time. Here's the first offering. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. All right, leadoff man on first. Here's where you got to start clawing your way back into this ball game. It's not too late, but it needs to start happening soon. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And this is lined right back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. Well, when you're down by a few runs, base runners are what you need. And so far here in the inning, base runners are what they've gotten. That's a single followed by a double here. And this game might be about to get a whole lot closer real quick. Number 12 will stand in. And maybe a ray of hope as they get the first two men aboard here. And this crowd's just itching for something to put their hands together about. Well, the positive moments, they've been few and far between. But they're not out of this game. Now, they've got some guys in this lineup that can make this deficit go away. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Now, with two on and nobody out, it's looking like this scoreless string could be in some jeopardy. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Kind of interesting to see how he's going to respond to this situation that he's worked himself into. Yeah, he hasn't found himself in too many tough spots, but he's got one now. Hey, get the pitch up there and do something with it. Let's go. Looking back, go one here. On the ground is short. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. This late in the game, no sense in taking a chance trying to cut down that guy at the plate. So they'll be pretty happy just to trade the run for the out. Goose Anderson will get another crack, one for three thus far. Goose Anderson. Let her rip, let her rip. 
Oh, and he's waiting on the fastball that time as he belts one high and deep to right center. And this ball is gone. So it's a two-run shot to right center, but they still face a seven-run deficit. Well, this at least is a way to make some kind of positive out of what's been a really difficult evening so far. I don't think this will make much of a difference in the final result, but at least it shows you that they're out there playing hard and not laying down. So a good offensive showing for these guys. But if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a couple of hits. But more importantly, that big home run, which really led his guys to this victory. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Naturals win this one 10 to 3. Good night, everybody. Our final line score for the victorious Naturals 10 runs, 17 hits, no errors. They left 15 runners on base. For the Drillers, three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 36 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.
Now from your exclusive home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show is on the air. Tonight we wrap up this brief two-game series between the Tulsa Drillers and the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. And before we close in on first pitch, a look at the starting lineups here for the finale. And let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers as you see how they stack up right there. Goose Anderson makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Anderson. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll start it out here with a line drive to the gap in left, and he'll have extra bases to start the ball game. And he will cruise into second base as he starts things out tonight with a double. And you know what, guys? I think this is what you call an early statement right there. This is the first pitch of the game, and he doesn't just go after it. He lashes at this thing. He's going to wind up on second with a leadoff double. Hello. Jason Pridey will stand in now, looking to get something to the right side with that leadoff man at second to start the ball game. Now a ball sprayed fouled into the seats near third. And this may get the runner to third as it's on the ground towards second base. And taken in out there for the first down. And this inning's going exactly to plan. You get the leadoff double, then a ground ball to the right side by your number two hitter moves him over to third. Now you're set up for the big boys to drive him in. Corey Dickerson will try to pick up that run in the top of the first as they've got that leadoff man up to third now with one away. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. and oh. now He probably doubted he'd be in trouble this early, but he's already got a runner in scoring position, and now he falls behind the number three. Side three and zero now. Green light here on three and zero. Yeah, I want my run producer swinging the bat. It's my number seven hitter. Probably not. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. in that time as he's barely able to foul it away. One out and a runner on third. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw in time at first for route number two. This is a pretty simple play for a catcher right here. It's a nice pitch, and it looks like he might have chopped it right down off a home plate. You can see the catcher get out of his crouch, take it on one big hop, and then just make the good strong throw to first to get him easily. David Dahl will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night.
and he begins the at bat with a knuckle curve looked at for strike one. Men on third with two down. Runner away from third, now the pitch. And he lays off for ball one. takes this one to the opposite field high and deep to left center and they're going to hit the board first tonight as this falls down for extra bases and he is in the second base with an RBI double already their second double of the ball game here in the first inning he's not fooled too many guys out there to this point that's for sure Derek Robinson will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. Where's the first here? Here we go, guys. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. And that's through for a base hit. Well, if you stay out of the middle, you'll have a chance. But... Neither of these teams are going to miss a fat pitch down Broadway. And he just drives this into left for a base hit. Goose Anderson will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Yeah, looked like he hit the target. That's a tough pitch to lay off, but you made it pan out. Two and oh now. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. Three and oh now. Jason Pridey would be next. Here's one hit towards the hole. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Naturals lead it. Two to one. Goose Anderson will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Goose Anderson. First pitch on the way. Now he goes the other way with a fastball, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. 
And he will pull into second with a two-out double. And this is how you break out of a cold streak. This is his second hit of the ball game, and this one goes for extra bases. And you can see that confidence is slowly starting to come back at the plate. Jason Pridey will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Here we go. Come on now. Come on. Get ahead. Get ahead. Get out. Get out. And a high strike there, 0-1. And, and, you know, whenever he's been in trouble on the mound, he's found a way to turn things around. And that's a good job to start this guy with strike one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Danger averted following the two-out double. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Evans will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Reaches up and tomahawks this to short. There's one. On to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. Well, that's just made to order right there. Two hops to short, easy pivot, not a lot of heat at second base. That's just a pretty routine double play. Number 30 will take his third shot at it now. He's 0 for 2 thus far here tonight. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting, number 27. Goose Anderson will dig in. He doubled his last time. Goose Anderson. Hey, one time, right now. Hey, two. Two. Hard hit towards center. Pagero is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. Northwest Arkansas out in front, three to one. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he wound up turning things over to his bullpen in the ninth, but still, eight strong innings for him. He was hitting his spots all game long. 
So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The Naturals win this one 4-1. to one. Good night, everybody. Our final line score for the victorious Naturals. Four runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Drillers, one run, seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 45 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.